is Andrea Cantagalli. I work in Bologna in a private hospital called uh, GSD Group. And uh, my main activity is the anterior segment surgery. And uh, we perform about, uh, we are a, a group and we perform about 2,000 procedures a year. 80% of the procedures are uh, regarding the anterior segment. Mainly is a cataract procedure and 5% of our activity is uh, deal with uh, uh, exchange IOL for uh, uh, opacification of IOL and sometimes for problem related to disalignment or uh, tilting of the IOL, especially for premium IOLs. Generally we have uh, two different uh, most frequently challenging cases. The first case in when we have uh, uh, checked uh, a patient for a premium IOL and uh, at the beginning of the surgery uh, we deal with uh, phagodonesis and this is a great a really great problem and so in this case it is uh, mandatory to use uh, uh, the safety procedure you can and uh, now with uh, the uh, uh, capsular bag sustainer from MST is really easier to perform and to do a safety procedure. We work a lot with uh, flux and uh, generally uh, I use a, a, a particular kind of uh, femtolaser and uh, I cannot, uh, uh, I use it in the pre-op uh, uh, operative room. So I need to uh, perform uh, a, a capsulotomy with femto, generally between uh, 4.8 to 5.2. But uh, sometimes, especially in hyperopic patient and especially with problems related to the dilatation, uh, I perform uh, a smaller capsulotomy with the femto. So I cannot use a malugin ring during, a femto, during flux, of course. And uh, uh, when uh, I need to perform flux with a, a particular case like a very shallow anterior chamber, I generally I, I like to perform a smaller pupil with, with flux. Then, in the operating room at the end of the surgery, after the, the IOL implantation, enlarge the capsulotomy using uh, a, a particular uh, microforceps by MST. A lot of times it is, is uh, quite uh, difficult to evaluate preoperatively this kind of problem. And so we know that uh, when we have not a wider pupil at the beginning of the surgery, very frequently we have problems related to, to uh, zonular dialysis. So with uh, the capsular bag sustainers I really have a great uh, help from the, uh, this kind of instrument because I can uh, safely uh, uh, deal with this kind of procedure and, uh, and perform a safer, a safer procedure. Generally I, I use uh, uh, of course a Malugin ring that is uh, a mandatory instrument if you do not use uh, uh, flux. Um, uh, I generally use uh, capsular bag sustainer in uh, a case of phacodonesis and is a, a, a really helpful uh, um, method. And uh, for, of course, explantation and uh, IOL exchange, I, I am very uh, happy to use the micro holder and macro cutter from Amsty. Also, considering the, um, I hate, uh, um, I don't like absolutely as anterior segment uh, vitreous, and so I don't like to approach uh, uh, vitreous, uh, vitreous removal by anter anteriorly, because I was read uh, professionally by a, a vitreous retina surgeon, and he, he told me. Uh, every day, remember that you need to approach posteriorly vitreous, not by uh, not anteriorly. So. When I, I have a vitreous in the anterior chamber, generally I stop my procedure. I don't like to approach uh, vitreous retinal surgery. And uh, with the micro, uh, with a, a new instruments like the condom snare instrument, we can easily or, or uh, uh, more easily uh, approach the uh, repositioning of the complex uh, capsular back IOL in these located cases uh, without. Uh, uh, the stress of the uh, presence of vitreous in the anterior chamber. It's like when you, when you take a plane and, and when you start, uh, uh, everything that is, uh, uh, is a very quick procedure. 
you need the five minutes to take it off. And you need to take the, the, uh, in, in this the five minutes, everything the, is, uh, could uh, happen. It is much more important than the hours that uh, the, the one hour that uh, is uh, before uh, the surgery.